Ethereum from Coinbase. I buy that. EOS from Dan Larimar. I watch that. Dogecoin from Robinhood. I moon that. Guys, Bitcoin overdose here, your daily dose of crypto. I do overdose, you guys don't have to. Click that like button and that subscribe button down below if you guys are new here and go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose, your mom's favorite crypto YouTube channel. Now guys, today we're gonna be talking about Dogecoin going to the moon and where we can see a potential pullback and how that might have already started. And I wanna show you guys EOS because EOS has gone from basically three below $3 up to $8. And we've been watching that along the way the entire step of the bull market here. I just kind of want to reiterate, update, see where we could potentially go. And we can talk about BNT as well, because Bancor, guys, seems to be one that I picked the other day that's been doing pretty well. ZRX is kind of coming off of the highs here too, but we can talk about BNT. We can talk about anything. I guess, like I said, guys, just comment down below if you guys want to hear anything about your coin. But today we are going to be just talking about Dogecoin going to the moon and EOS. So definitely stay tuned for that. But let's just jump right into it. I don't need to talk. We have a crazy run. Um, guys, I charted this out earlier, but Ethereum and the EOS or the, the Dogecoin pump in the last five days and Ethereum throughout basically the entire 2017 is looking very similar. So right now I have a five day graph up of Dogecoin here. And if we're looking on the close four hour chart here, we are looking for the 25 cent mark to really see if this long will keep on producing gains. I know everybody in Robinhood and their mom and the TikTok community are into Dogecoin right now. Um, I'm going to be honest, guys. I know a lot of people are saying the dollar coin, but guys, it's going to put uh, just this meme alone. Guys, Dogecoin is a meme coin. It will put this meme into the hundred billion dollar market cap range if we get up to 60 cents. So just keep that in mind as this night kind of unfolds. I hope that people don't get hurt by this, but I could really see this ending up like a GameStop or an AMC scenario where we do get this massive flush out and then we do see kind of uh, more along the lines of like a long retrace. Um, now, I don't want that to happen. And obviously a lot of people will get hurt in that, but even better guys is the mentality going into this a lot of holders that have been a long time are actually kind of holding to the dollar meme so i love that i love to see that because at least we have a set target but just don't be surprised when this dumps off of a dollar super hard um i won't be playing with fire guys it's like playing with a hot potato you don't want to be the last one sitting when the music stops you know it, it really does come down to that and i know people who are going to be watching this day in and day out who are going to be ready to dump or pull that trigger out a dollar i know more people who aren't going to be willing to do that or who aren't going to be here for that you know it's just something to keep in mind guys money gone like don't be mortgaging your house obviously it's a lot of people just jumping in with a couple hundred bucks and you love to see this but just don't forget to take profit on the way up okay like like this uh this is crazy my brother texted me this morning he never talks about crypto he texted me this morning he's like bro like i'm up 800 bucks on this coin everybody's gaining money right now but it's just a crazy time and it's a literal meme coin so you just really have to take that into consideration before adding to your position up at these levels um guys we've never we haven't seen dogecoin ever get past 200 satoshi if we look on the usd mark here but we're gonna look on the b uh the btc market for doge like i said we've never seen doge get to this kind of level so it's just kind of nuts like but we've seen it hit 200 before we've seen it go all the way back down to 16 and uh th this kind of level guys we're up to 197 a couple of weeks a couple of days ago we're up 3x from there that seems pretty likely to be close to if not the top but like i said guys we'll probably come back down into this 450 range retest and then we might see a thousand uh you know set satoshi doge which is absolutely crazy it's something that i never would have thought happened and you know i still hold original doge everybody thinks that just because i don't talk about it i don't own any but it's kind of more of like i said a meme stock at this point so 
I'm even treating it like my AMC bag. I'm not really looking at it too much. It's just money gone to the cause at this point. And I think that, you know, it might end up being quite a bit of money and I'll probably sell it a dollar too, like everybody else, right? So we'll, we'll see if this actually trend changes, but guys, right now, most volume it's ever had. This is looking pretty promising to actually go up here towards that 60 cent range, which is absolutely wild i think we're just gonna get a little bit more of a pullback throughout the day and then we'll probably be right back up to that you know by maybe into the weekend the end of the weekend um it, it's crazy i i've never seen doge do this before and nobody else has either obviously but just with the amount of volume it's all coming from robin hood it's just something that i didn't think was gonna happen this quickly we went from five cents to 30 cents pretty much overnight you know, it might say more about the dollar at this point than anything. EOS, guys, another great coin that we have been looking at. We finally broke $8 on. We have been looking at this for a long time, guys. We held at 579, just as stated on this channel. We broke over it, held it on the retest. And guys, $8 EOS is honestly looking like it could be $20 EOS. Yet again here um on this entire bull channel guys i'm so excited uh we've been looking at this coin for years and just seeing it come back up to almost 20 dollars or you know even even halfway there right now um 20 dollars does not seem that far away and i think this coin will end up testing highs and at least if we don't break them i do have uh cells set for 13 and for 18. This is kind of that point where I might be selling way too early, but just seeing as how EOS is starting to gain life again, guys, this market and the people in it remind me so much of 2017. It is ridiculous. Right now we have high FBs. We have slow BTC chain moves right now. This is exactly what happened at the top last time. But this time with NFT selling way higher than just CryptoKitties, I kind of forgot about CryptoKitties. I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't know if they've made a comeback, but it just reminds me so much of this entire market back in 2017. It is ridiculous. We might have four or five weeks of this and you're going to want to just take profits on the way up. And there's not really much else you can do. You guys have been here so long. You guys have been ready for this. Just don't mess up like last time, guys. Everybody who's been here with me throughout the last three and a half years, you guys have been through my turmoils you guys have been through my trials and errors and you guys have seen me lose a lot of money you guys have also seen me gain a lot back it it's been a hell of a journey and i just want you guys to be ready for this we've been born for this this is why we're here so just don't forget to take profit um all the newcomers who have haven't been in crypto for that long all the new people who have subscribed to my channel i appreciate you guys you're probably gonna make it but I'm gonna I'm gonna say this right now, guys. There's only gonna be a couple weeks of this, maybe a month or two tops. You just want to be ready to take profits. I don't know if this will end up, um, you know, the institutional way that everybody thinks this is going. Everybody's like, oh, hey, institutional money is in this now. They won't let it drop. I don't believe that. Um, guys, we're still early. This is gonna be the make or break. If, if Bitcoin. <laughs> If Bitcoin ends up dumping pretty hard here, and I think like the rest of the market will tumble with it, um, we're gonna see a, a really, really long recovery. And I hope you guys are ready for that. So just, I don't mean to be all bear doom and gloom. This is a euphoric day. But again, think about market cycles, guys. We might be in the euphoria phase, which means we're pretty close to the top, um, just in the overall market cycles. Now, crypto has always been different. It's always been built different. So it hasn't followed that, you know, formula of T for T, I for I, but it has definitely shown that it can happen pretty quickly. So just be ready, guys. That is all I'm going to say here on this channel today. Just be ready for, you know, a couple of weeks here where everybody makes money. It's dumb money season. It's altcoin season. It is genius season. All of the breakouts that are confirming are time to go. But when I saw somebody post an IOTA chart earlier today, and guys, IOTA is like literally a confirmed scam. It doesn't work. They haven't worked on anything in a long time. And I saw somebody longing IOTA today on the cryptos, uh, you know, on somebody's crypto channel. And guys, it's up crazy this week. I'm not denying this. Um, you know, these gains are 
nut but i owe that the two dollars last time it hit four dollars everybody was talking about the end of fiat you might kind of be in that time again and i just don't want to fall back into that so guys just be ready that's all i'm gonna say bitcoin overdose here your daily dose of crypto i do overdose so you guys don't have to if you guys haven't already click that subscribe button click that notification bell down below to stay up to date and definitely know that we have a lot of stuff coming down the way so guys click that subscribe button really get notified all right and go follow me over at bitcoin overdose your mom's favorite crypto channel i have to remind you guys as i always do look both ways before crossing the street only you can prevent forest fires stay in school don't do drugs have fun stay safe but most importantly buy bitcoin and chill.